Uh, who? Well, today, you know, it's a nice day, really nice day. Uh, my name is uh, David Swallow, Jr., right here from the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, you know, South Dakota. My Lakota name is Wawita Yuha Money, Imachapalo, which means walks with pride. That is who I am, the Lakota way. And I tell you, on this Pine Ridge Indian Reservation here, this reservation was uh, created by the Act of Congress back in 18 something to make a permanent home for the uh, Lakotas who are living on the reservation, who are receiving uh, amenity and uh, rations, you know. And they have a list of names who was here, you know. So they uh, uh, made this reservation for us to stay here. It's a reservation. It's not a nation. It's a reservation, you know. And uh, it's from Nebraska uh, state line all the way into the Pennington County, again, South Dakota here, like that. So <laughs> it was, it's huge. This is where they put them, and uh, uh, they allotted the land to them uh, during the Dawes Act, you know. Senator Dawes issued that act, so that's where everybody gets, I believe, 100 and something, or maybe 300 and something per uh, uh, head of the household back in those days. So my grandfathers, they live here, and uh, they got... Uh, they got a uh, land, and then they they issue a um, uh, Sioux benefit. Sioux benefit was a quarterly money that they get. You know, I guess back then they they get like every quarter they get like a fifteen hundred dollars. Today, value is it's you know maybe quadruple that. You know, like that, and they gave them uh, plows and. Uh, mowing machine, team horses, and they help them build a house, and that's the original beginning for the, they turned the, the Sioux warrior into a farmer, see. So they have big gardens, and they try to do the best they can to change the way of their life into the, uh, the life of the farmer, you know. And that was going good until 1934. And 35, they call it the Howard Wheeler Act. They create this uh, uh, IRA, Indian Reorganization Act, by Mr. Wheeler. Introduced this to the Congress and then introduced it. So now, uh, from there on, uh, there's less responsibilities for the Bureau and the War Department. So they all give it to the uh, uh, put it in the hands of the IRA, which today we know them as the Tribal Council people. You know, we have a Tribal President and a Tribal Vice President, Tribal Secretary and, and District uh, Chairman and District whatever, you know, to run the, uh, the budget. So they cut off all amenities, all rations, all Sioux benefits and all predators, shares, everything, they cut all those off, they get all that money, and they run that uh, IRA now, today. See? So, none of us today, we don't get none of those benefits that were promised by Congress, you know. Or maybe we do, but we never seen it here, like that. So, it was from there on, IRA begins, you know. And uh, they're supposed to bring economy. They're supposed to bring uh, voca uh, vocational training areas. They're supposed to do that, but they didn't do that. So we have uh, 85 plus uh, unemployed here. 85% plus unemployed on the reservation because there is no jobs here. So. My relative, the Indian, they always said Mr. Indian is lazy and cannot work and drink all the time, but it's not so. There is no job here, you know. And the schools are, I need to be upgraded here. One of the children's graduated into another college someplace, they're 10 years behind. 
So I need to be upgraded also. And nobody cannot uh, keep a career. Me, you cannot make no career here on the reservation. You can't. There's no career here. Only favoritism, nepotism, stuff like this going on on this reservation here. And I don't blame them because that's the only job they have. That's the only, the only bread and butter on the table, you know. And there's no other job of getting. So state of South Dakota, uh, the Department of Social Service stepped in. But their method of how to help the people, I don't see it. You know, they give them money, they give them free food stamps, everything. You know, but if if the young mother stay with the uh, father of the children, they cannot receive nothing. So they have to break break the family up in order to receive. 